It should give us a nice, interesting flavor. And with that, let's get cooking. step we're going to do in this video uh, is going to be to cut up a few potatoes. Uh, this is an optional uh, ingredient. You don't have to use the potatoes, but it's going to be pretty standard. You're just going to cut them into bite-sized pieces and do this several times. Once you get your potatoes cut, they should look like this. Like I said before, this is an optional ingredient. You don't need to do it. Here's what we're going to have to start with. What the first ingredient, if you're going to use them, is going to be your potatoes. We're just going to dump them right in. And then the next ingredient you're going to put in is your one cup. Of, then what you're going to do is you're going to put your roast in. You're just going to lay that right on top. Next step, you're going to... Sprinkle your one package of soup mix on top of the roast. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pour both cans of the cream of whatever you decide to use soup mix onto the roast. Depending on which ones you use, this might be a little thick. But like I said, like most times, What's going to happen is this is all going to steam together. And then what we're going to do is dump the other one. Okay, that's all set. And then for my other add-on is going to be the baby carrots. Like I said, this is an optional one, so just sprinkle them around. And then also, last is going to be a little bit of salt and pepper for taste. You can use any other thing you want. A little bit of sea salt. Okay. So that will do it. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put this on a medium setting on your for between 5 to 6 hours. Or if you want to take it a little bit slow, you can do it on low for about 10 hours. Then what you're going to do is serve it up. What we'll do is uh, once it's done, I'll sh we'll see what it looks like. So here it is, guys. This is the par roast after it's been pulled out. As you can see, you can see all the gravy from the stew that uh, the soup that was added. Uh, let's cut into it. See what the oh that looks beautiful, doesn't it? Doesn't look it's not it is a little red, but eh. Okay, here it is, guys. Uh, the potatoes came out good. Carrots did, too. Let's try those. Mmm. I can definitely taste the flavor of the cream of mushroom and the cream of asparagus I used. There's a nice big piece of or, uh, pot roast. Mmm. 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 This is definitely a good meal. Winter, fall. It's nice and hearty. Definitely think this is one for the book. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cooking with Chris. As you saw, this recipe is very experimental. You can switch it up to however you want it. You can use cream of onion, cream of broccoli, cream of whatever for the pot roast. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the underbar. And with that, keep on cooking and keep on commenting. I do answer every... What you, what you want, what you, what you want. Come on.